Hey guys, Kevin here. And I am coming back to the Mac Pro for my probably last upgrade on this machine. So this is a stock cooler 5700 XT and I'm hoping that it will run in my Mac Pro 2010. So my GTX 980 is out. I have my XT uh, 5700 uh, right beside it at the moment because right now I'm currently going through Catalina Patcher and I'd say this is going to be the easiest way of actually doing this. Currently the card that I have in there is the GT120 and I believe that the patcher supports the GT120 but we'll find out soon enough considering my MacBook with a 9400 GT is working. I just want basic usage out of this for the moment so hopefully this Catalina Patcher will work with the GT120 just for the installation and we'll test this out and see how it works. We'll see how, if it does work. <laughs> okay. So uh, the process that I'm going to go through is the same process that I actually got Catalina to work on my MacBook, which is that I'm going to try and have this install directly from the patcher. Uh, with this, I just let it do its own thing, and I left it, and lo and behold, I just it just showed up as Catalina. So what I'm gonna have to do, is this is my theory on this, is let this do its installation with the patcher like it did on my MacBook, leave it to do its thing. If it doesn't detect, uh, or if it doesn't show up on the graphics card or if there's any issues, I'll switch out into the Radeon. And if that theory is correct, and I haven't uh, bricked my <laughs> Mac Pro, uh, then we've successfully uh, patched and have an easy way for those of us who don't have, that don't really have an EFI card to actually do this. I know I have my GT120 in here, but this is a proof of concept more so than anything else, that if I did use the patcher and I was upgrading from a non-EFI to, e to a non-EFI card, that it is possible with this patcher to actually do it. Not to say I would not, I, I would recommend you actually use an EFI card or an EFI enabled card uh, when you're doing these type of installations on the Mac Pro. Uh, most Mac Pros came with them. If you didn't have one, they're getting more expensive, so I recommend pick them up while you still can. Generally, the 500 series uh, graphics cards are cheap as chips right now and they're all supported still on the Mac Pro. If you want to pick up yourself a 500 series, it is usually the best option. Right now I'm just seeing if the GT120 will do the job, basically because I want to have access to the EFI boot up and everything like that. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed everything should go as intended, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> right. So. Let's start and maybe brick my Mac Pro. Let's let's take that chance. It's not like I have it's my main machine. <laughs> and we're starting. Now fingers crossed this should restart directly into an installer. Uh, I'm just hoping that it just boots back into an operating system or an installation of some sort. Worst or best case scenario. Um, worst case scenario, I'm going to lose everything and have to backtrack. Luckily enough for me, I have two time machine, two three terabyte time machines. So okay, Hatcher is copied. Save your life to Apple. Uh, the following is not on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of applications that are 32 bit Mac uh, applications that I'm going to have to uninstall as well. Uh, I noticed that with my MacBook, 
uh, this video is probably going to come out after the MacBook video, but there are some issues with Catalina and if you're coming from an older machine, which I'll explain shortly. Well, that is looking promising. At least it's still giving me a time of how long it's going to take to load. So nothing has crossed out the apple or anything. So all's good so far. Okay, great news, success. We have Catalina running on the GT120. So it's official, that card is actually supported, kinda. Not metal support or anything like that. It's a completely useless card, but we have Catalina running on my 2010 Mac Pro desktop. So that's the good news. Um, there's probably going to be a bit of insulation here, but next step would be installing this card and hopefully having this card boot up over my and not have to reinstall everything just so I can have full support over my machine. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And there we have it. We have the XFX reference card running directly to the cinema display and uh, there's no kind of jiggery going on here there's just a display port to mini display connector for this and yeah that's that's pretty much it so oh that's much smoother now i'm probably gonna have to do a lot of fixing to get this perfectly working and cool <laughs> obviously uh <laughs> This isn't going to work anymore. I'm not going to need CUDA. Uh, maybe later. Go away, Gog. Yeah, everything. Oh, God, I have to turn off everything. Anyway, about this Mac. There it is. Next up, RAM upgrade. But we've done it. We, this is pretty much a step-by-step -step on how to upgrade your non, upgrade to the, <laughs> I'm just glad it even works. That's, that's, that was my main, uh, that was what I was afraid of. I'm going to play with this for a little while and I'm going to see what the benefits and what the downsides are of using this card on this machine. Fingers crossed, there's plenty of upsides. So, everything's all nip nipped up and everything's all back together. And pretty much it is working as it as as nothing ever happened. Uh, the things that do are kind of annoying me right now is I was a big Adobe CS6 uh, user. So basically, Catalina doesn't support 32-bit applications. Unfortunately, that does mean I'm going to have to get rid of a very expensive suite to use this card, <laughs> uh, which which is not um, how do you say? It's I'm not happy about that, so I'm not. I might just put it onto another computer uh, or another Mac, onto my MacBook just so I can have access to the software. Um, yeah, uh, that's, 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 I kind of had a feeling that the CS6 would finally be, uh, killed off. Uh, Apple eventually does kill off old software that they don't feel, uh, that, <laughs> well, you know, the, you know yourself, Apple usually kills off anything if they feel like they can make a buck off of it. Anyways, basically, I'm just about to sign in on everything. Uh, have a very very this is my 4k TV everything seems to be working perfectly fine to be honest I haven't seen any difference so far besides or beyond the GTX 980 uh, uh, the way the GTX 980 ran on Mac OS to be honest I doubt I was going to see a massive difference I'd say probably in rendering and all the rest, it'll be much faster. 
having full OpenGL and OpenCL support and all the rest, I'd say this is going to be another stage to this machine, definitely. Now that the NV NVMe is now installed with it as well, the only upgrade that I really have to do next is the 1333 RAM, which is going to be a relatively cheap uh, upgrade, to be honest, compared to the graphics card and the rest. But this card is currently running right off the two six pins, which is kind of surprising me right now. Uh, I haven't put the card under any strain yet, uh, so that's going to be the next test. Once I put this card under a little bit of strain, will it cut out on me? At the moment, the card is running pretty cut, pretty smoothly. There doesn't seem to be any issues, and I hope, I hope that I can actually boot into Windows and start playing a few games and not see any massive differences. As I said a few minutes ago, I did try a GTX 1080 in this machine once before with dual 8-pin to 6-pin to, uh, adapters. And that, under just the slightest bit of strain, it pretty much just cut out. It's just, literally everything shut down, no power back on. I was like, shit, did I kill it? Luckily enough, I didn't, and everything was working fine once I rebooted it back up with the GTX 980. I hope this is, fingers crossed, this is a permanent uh, setting. Otherwise, I still have that cable in the mail, the mod cable for the two 8-pins. And once they come in, once it comes in, I'll, depending on how this runs, I'll either do the modification or I won't. Bottom my ass. At all. So yeah, pretty much this was my update to Catalina mixed with my upgrade of my 5700 XT. Uh, if you found the video interesting, please give us a like. If you want to know, if you want a quick update on what's going to happen with this and how it's running and all the rest, please leave comments down below. I love answering questions when it comes to this sort of thing. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want to know which card I bought, one second. It is the Radeon XFX 5700 XT and that's the specs, minimum specs. Uh, apparently it was a liquidation card that I picked up. Liquidation. So uh, to be honest, I got this card pretty cheap. So I did so, and the box is a bit battered, but yeah. I'm happy as a pig in crap with this setup now. Anyways, thanks very much for watching. Have a good one.